Well, today, Detroiters will have a chance to get the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine at Ford Field. We're joined this morning by Kerry Ebersol singh director of Protect Michigan Commission, to talk about the latest efforts to get Michiganders vaccinated. Uh, Kerry, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Well, you know, there have obviously been concerns about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, both before and after the 11 day pause. And this morning we're learning the CDC is investigating the death of a Michigan woman who died a week and a half after receiving the Johnson & Johnson shot. Understandably, a lot of people are hesitant about that vaccine. What's your message to them? Um, my message to them is, you know, here at the state of Michigan, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, we are sticking very close to the FDA and CDC guidance. They've reviewed these cases and after the pause um, have opened that up and give clearance to start administering those Johnson & Johnson shots again. So at this point in time, we're moving forward with that. And we do know that Johnson & Johnson uh, shot is attractive to some folks, uh, some that may be have a little uh, fear of needles and having one dose is much better than having two doses. All right. Well, the uh, cited Fort Field will begin vaccinating people with uh, the Johnson and Johnson vaccine today. And for people who do want to get a vaccine, uh, a vaccine at Fort Field, how do they go about that? Do they need to make an appointment? Do they just show up? This is the exciting thing, and I think what folks have been clamoring for is walk-ups um, and walk-ins. Um, so uh, if you're down in downtown Detroit, come on by Ford Field. Uh, you'll be offered a dose. You still have to register when you come through the door, or you, go, of course, can still make an appointment uh, by texting NCOVID to 75049. Um, the other great thing, too, is if you have missed your second dose of Pfizer, uh, you got your card and you missed your dose at another location, you can also come to Ford Field and get that second dose of Pfizer taken care of. All right, so uh, lots of folks have been looking for walk-up uh, spots, and this is an opportunity to get that downtown. Now, as we get closer uh, and more and more people are vaccinated, we're getting close to that uh, benchmark that the governor laid out about uh, reopening uh, offices and workplaces with the uh, My Back to Normal plan. Is there an estimated time where we'll hit that benchmark of 55%? Um, we're dependent on everyone in the state. Um, at this point in time, we're at 50.4% uh, is where we are benchmark wise. That first clearance is at 55%. We could be there as soon as by the end of the week, or it may take some more time. I mean, we have, as we've discussed a bit um, in the media, that you know demand has slowed. We need to keep encouraging folks to come out and get vaccinated. Uh, getting vaccinated and the small amount of side effects you could experience um, is much better than being on the hospital on a ventilator or even worse. All right, so that's the first benchmark. The final benchmark is 70%, and that's when uh, MDHHS will uh, drop uh, the mask restrictions and a number of, uh, of those restrictions and guidelines. What are the projections for us reaching that? You guys must have done some sort of uh, some sort of projecting here. Yes, yeah. I mean, I think. Listen, I think we could be there as as soon as July fourth, or again, it could take longer. Um, it's dependent on all of us uh, to help get our friends and family vaccinated. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, listen, I'm shooting uh, for that uh, July fourth deadline. We're going to keep promoting folks to get out there. There's clinics um, that are incredibly accessible across the state. So we just need to get the job done and encourage our friends and family to get that vaccination. All right, well, we, we have to go. I do very quickly, uh, do we have the, or would we use the same infrastructure to vaccinate children if children are allowed to get uh, the Pfizer vaccine as the CDC is considering right now? We're working on our final plans as we await that authorization, um, but I think we're gonna be leaning heavily on our pediatricians across the state as well. We know that personal family physicians, pediatricians, and the like are very dependent on getting information on what's safe uh, for their kids and family members. All right, Carrie Ebersol Singh from the Protect Michigan Commission, thank you so much for your time and insight this morning. Thank you.